What up boys and welcome back to yet another Season of Discovery Gold Guide. So Season of Discovery is in a weird state right now where everyone is pretty much just waiting for Phase 3 to arrive and I'm one of those people. So I started the stupid quest of trying to obtain an epic BOE while making gold before Phase 3 arrives, which pretty much means that I gotta do a big variety of farms to not get bored. Hence why I'm making these videos. So uh, I do one location for five hours, save everything, throw it on the auction, I'll sell it. And then I make these videos to kind of keep you guys up to date on uh, what you can expect to get from the, uh, the different uh, Season of Discovery gold farms. And that's what we're doing in today's video. Before we take a look at the information, I'm doing a big, big sale now due to Easter. So it uh, doesn't matter if you're playing Season of Discovery, you're planning on playing Cataclysm Classic, or if you play Retail, you can get any of the gold guides for 25% off. Just remember to uh, use the discount code EASTER on checkout. And yes, every single gold guide comes with a lifetime of free updates. So if you're playing Season of Discovery, whenever we get a new phase, I update the gold guide with the best gold farms for that phase and so on. Same thing with a new expansion for something like Retail. If that sounds interesting, then make sure to uh, use the link down below in the description. And a big thank you for all the support so far during this sale. It's been absolutely amazing. I really do appreciate that. Now, the farm that we're taking a look at in uh, today's video is uh, uh, actually a location that I featured, like I think it was like day two of phase two. Uh, and it's this one right here in the hinterlands, killing these uh, wither bark trolls. Now, the reason why I want to kill these is because they drop Mage Weave Cloth and they drop Wild Wines needed for like best in slot gloves and so on. Uh, they also previously, uh, they dropped the, uh, the necklaces, the troll necklaces. Well, they still drop it, but Blizzard has already confirmed that you won't be able to mass hand them in for experience. But that was like, and still is, a legit way to just power level your tunes is purchase the uh, troll tribal necklaces on the auction house and then it's a repeatable quest that you can hand in as many times as you want to in town uh, for like an insane amount of xp but blizzard is on the ball so uh, i just straight up vendored those uh super solid gold farm can drop good boe items greens blues and epics uh when it comes to the exact location of this farm it takes place uh right up here in hinterlands and you have the camp that i was killing at in the the video which is right here but also around this ruin right here you also have a bunch of bobs a bit higher level but then again a higher chance of dropping very valuable green items at least and blues so doing that for five hours i got roughly 25 golds just raw from vendoring and also silver pickup I got four of the uh, supply crates, uh, which had a uh, like a profit of roughly five point five gold each, right? So that's uh, another twenty two gold from the supply shipments when I filled them, because it only costed me uh, like a couple of gold to fill the boxes, and then you get twelve gold when you hand in the box. So if you want to take that into the equation, that's another twenty two gold added on top of this and it all adds up so we then have uh the uh, sales that i have so far i got some items on at the auction house where we're looking at 84 golden sales you can see i'm selling consumables some greens leggings of agility chromite bar butte huntsman armor of the owl a bunch of mage weave cloth more uh, consumables, kill a couple of wolves uh, that I aggroed while killing the trolls, so I sold the tender wolf meat. A bunch of wild wine sales, unfortunately only 60 silver each. And then I sold a couple of more greens, more mage weave, more wild wines, more mage weave, right? So 84 gold in the mailbox. And on top of that, I also have some items uh, on the auction house that I have not sold yet, where one is actually pretty damn decent. So we're going to go on the auction house, and these are the items that I have left. This ring has plus 9 agility, plus 3 strength. It's a pretty good ring, selling for almost 13 gold right now. So that's another 16 gold in value on the auction house. All in all combined, I'm looking at 157 gold 
from five hours. Now, divide that by five, and we have an average gold per hour of 31.4 gold. Not too bad. I've done a lot of these videos now, and lately, with prices going down, uh, making 30 gold an hour plus steady, uh, relatively steady at least, is uh, pretty damn good. But yes, again, another five hours has passed, and I still haven't gotten my epic. So that just means that I'm on to the next farm and I'm doing the next farm for five hours and then I will come back to you guys with the gold per hour and hopefully the next time I can show you guys my fancy epic that I acquired. With that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see the up and coming videos. And of course, check out the Easter sale where you get 25% off on any gold guide. Link down below. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.